Let's shift focus on to this. In the first weekend of December, the Junior Masters Tournament took place with the team representing the McCarthy VW Constantia dealership walking away the winners. They'll now represent South Africa at the International Junior Masters Tournament, which takes place in Berlin, Germany next year. Joining us is the captain of the winning team, Sorero Junior, and competition ambassador, Dean Furman. A very good morning to the both of you and welcome to Morning Live. I'm going to start with you, Sorero. Tell me what happened at the competition and how are you feeling about having won it? Well, um, we lost our first game, but it helped us, uh, helped us, um, it helped us to, to well. motivate you guys. Yeah, hey, motivate, yeah. it, helped us to, it motivated us to do well in our second game and through all our games. And then you guys went on to actually win the competition. Dean, there were a total of 16 teams that were participating. I know you maybe stuck your head in there in between club duties uh, to take a look. What did you think of the level of uh, the standard of play? Sadly, I actually missed the tournament because okay. I was away with Supersport on my own football duties. But I was there with the, with the grand opening and, and VW really put in an incredible event. It made these boys feel like superstars. They were welcomed into a big crowd. There was a huge event put on for the boys. And in the build-up to the tournament, uh, I, I said myself, I would have loved to have been involved myself in a tournament with, with uh, such a, an, an audience and such a, a build-up to, to the actual event. So for these boys, it was an incredible experience. And uh, I was following the whole weekend and to see how the teams got on. And I'm really proud of uh, VW Constantia and, and we're excited to follow their progress in Germany. How are you feeling about uh, the upcoming trip to Germany? I have no words. Uh, I don't know what to say, though, but I am actually happy. Have you ever gone overseas? Yeah, I have. When we went to Spain and we lost in the group stages. Okay. So yeah. you've gone to play an international tournament before? Yeah. And what was it like playing against those teams from Spain and Italy and Argentina? Yeah, it was actually hard, uh, but we tried our best and that's all that matters. You tried your best and now you guys are going to go and represent South Africa again with all of your teammates. And uh, what are you hoping for this time? Because you've had that international experience now. Yeah. So what are you hoping for at next year's tournament? Well, it's not really about winning, but it's also about having fun and learning. So, but I'm actually hoping to win the tournament. <laughs> Of course, you get out there to actually play. I mean, this is an incredible opportunity, isn't it, Dean, uh, to be able to, to play against uh, other players from around the world at a competition like the VW World Masters next year. Yeah, one of the things I stressed to the boys for the winning team was that the team that goes on to win will not only be representing their team, but they'll be representing the country. And, and any opportunity that you have to represent South Africa is an incredible honour. So for these boys you can't really get a bigger honour at this stage. And uh, what an opportunity to go and play boys from other teams and, and look at their style of play and, and try and learn and, and pick up tips from how they play. But I'm sure our boys will be going there with their shibobos and their skills. And uh, I'm very confident that our boys can go and do us proud. This is a really important age that they're at at the moment. The competition is open for under-12 teams. You yourself uh, were playing at the Chelsea Academy team from the age of 15. So this is a really crucial age group for your young footballers, isn't it? Very much. It's all about development at, at this age. And these are the kind of tournaments where your big clubs are watching. So what I'd stress for the boys is give your all, give everything, show what you're all about. Don't be scared. Don't be overawed by any of the other teams because you never know who's watching and who might be out there. So what an opportunity for these young boys. And as I said, uh, I can't wait to follow their progress. <sighs> does that make you a little bit nervous hearing Dean say all those things? Yeah, it does. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. How, how do you deal with your nerves when you're playing on the field? When I get on the field, it's like uh, I'm not nervous at all. I just let football control me. How long have you been playing? Um, in super sport or general. Just when did you first kick around a football? Well, when my, uh, I went to go watch one of my dad's games and it looked like fun. So I fell in love with the sport. And then my dad started teaching me how to use both feet. I started playing a little bit with my friends. So, yeah. There's lots of boys that play soccer, right? There's lots of yeah. kids that have soccer balls. There's lots of people that dream of one day like Dean representing Bafana Bafana. Did you ever think you would be able to, at 12 years old, go and represent South Africa in a tournament like this? No, not really. But you're very, very excited, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I am. And your final advice to, to the team that will be going abroad? My advice is to be yourself. Go to your shibobos, go play to your coach's instructions and just enjoy yourself. These are amazing opportunities. Go have fun and hopefully with a bit of luck you might become the, the champions out there in Germany. But we're behind you, we're supporting you and we're following you all the way. <laughs>
Oh, that's very, very sweet. Thank you so much, uh, Dean Furman. He's the ambassador of uh, the uh, VW Junior Masters competition. And uh, Sorero Junior is the captain of the winning team representing VW Constantia's uh, dealership. So they'll be going overseas uh, to Berlin, Germany next year. Okay, that's unfortunately how we come to the end of... Uh